Watcher. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and ponder the question. What if? All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your What If Wednesday. I am Mike with Mike W Productions. As you know, we are doing What If. I believe this is the third in no fourth installment in the What If series, and um, it's gonna get, let's just say, strange. So. Come watch with me. I will be having to stop every once in a while just uh, to make some commentary for the copy of Raids. So, you know. So already right off the bat, it looks like just about everyone from the original first uh, Doctor Strange movie is back in this one. So it should be pretty good. Let's see. So if he's the Watcher and I'm watching him, does that make me the Watcher of the Watcher? I don't know. You figure it out. I think you should just rush the podium like a contestant on The Price is Right. Screaming <laughs> and high-fiving and cheering and something crazy. Oh no, 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 Christine. And Come on, dead. Christine. Steven is dead. In this universe, Stephen Strange didn't lose his hands, but his heart. So that's what it means up here where it says, if he lost his heart. Yeah, okay. That, that's okay. So what if he became uh, even more rigid and jagged than he already was? Because the one thing that he cared about is now gone. It's kind of like, what if um, Pepper Potts died and Iron Man, you know, had to deal with that? Pretty interesting concept. Could weaken the very fabric of the universe. We protect. He's going to try and use that to change him from having the accident. And it's gonna get, well, let's just say, um, strange? What are you doing? Tinkering with time can weaken the very fabric of the universe. We protect reality. We don't threaten it. And when the threat came, and the Ancient One was lost, Stephen Strange stood tall. Stephen Strange could not let go of the past. Now, that was always something that I've kind of wondered about, even the original Doctor Strange. Is is he officially the Sorcerer Supreme, or did he just take over that title? Because I'm not sure how that all works, but uh, I never heard anyone say, you're the Sorcerer Supreme now. Um... Is he powerful? Sure, but uh, are there more trained people like Wong who know more about the magic stuff and uh, at least have more balance in their magic? Because if you watch the Spider-Man thing, Wong comes out and says, hey, yeah, you know that spell that you guys are talking about doing? Don't do it. So I'm not sure if he's officially the Sorcerer Supreme, um, but if you want to correct me in the comments, maybe I missed something in the five, ten times I've watched <laughs> Doctor Strange, um, but if you can find the exact moment where he is officiated as the Sorcerer Supreme, go ahead and uh, drop a comment for me, will ya? Because I, I actually want to know. Well... I'm going to start the kettle. I suggest you join me before you do something reckless. Fair enough. He is, um... It's been two years since his girlfriend passed and the Sorceress Supreme 
Tilda Swinton, who actually played the revoicing and all of the characters actually came back for this if you watched the little beginning of the uh, show. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, he's telling him, don't do it, just like he did in the Far From Home trailer, because messing with that kind of time stuff really doesn't end well. So... Strange like that. Oh no. Evening, handsome. Something wrong? Uh, Prepared an acceptance speech for tonight. No, I haven't. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna run up to the podium like a game show contestant. <laughs> Cheers and screams, <laughs> high fives. Seriously? Are you teasing me? Okay, no, you said it. You have to do it now. <laughs> That came out of nowhere, literally, because last time he got hit coming oncoming traffic because he tried to go around the truck and this time he didn't go around the truck and he still got hit. So what does this tell us? That tells me that things that are fixed in the past are fixed in the past. If you're a Doctor Who fan, you kind of already know this idea. <laughs> Groundhog's Day. Okay, so this is going to turn out to be kind of like a weird Groundhog's Day thing. Um, from the looks of what we're already experiencing, uh, yeah, this is going to be hard to watch. Um, in every uh, version of this, it's either he loses his hands or she dies. Yep. Taking a different route. It's okay, we'll be fine. We'll go, we'll dance. I promise you we will have a good time. <sighs> no. Pizza. You're a genius. This totally reminds me of a um, Doctor Who episode where he tries to um, to fix the timeline because he doesn't want someone to die, and other movies where people just keep looping back because uh, they want to change something. Um, it also reminds me of Groundhog's Day, except for... Um, he purposely keeps going back and to change this one thing. Um, it's just some things in time are meant to be. Um, you can't change the past without messing up the future. So in this case, it's either you lose your hands or you lose your love. And that is a pretty big stinger uh, for the doc for the doctor here. See, in the original, she didn't even go at all, and um, he went by himself, so he was the only one in the car. So that might be the turning point in this episode: is he needs to go back and not even invite her and then do the thing so he becomes the sorcerer supreme like the, in the original movie Stephen, this path only leads to darkness and the end of this reality please do not do this fight the welcome go this way Sorcerer Armani? No, it's it's strange. <laughs> Not any stranger than any other name in this world. Sorcerer Armani? Aha. Gain the power through the absorption of other beings. So he has to... Oh no, are they doing... Uh, Law of the 
equivalent exchange. Any Full Metal Alchemist fans out there? <clears throat> I've explained this before. Um, there's a law of alchemy that for everything given, there must be something taken away. In order to create something, something has to be uh, given um, or taken away. So if you want to create nothing, you have to give something to create something out of nothing. He's saying that you have to absorb um, life or something to uh, create this thing, which is kind of a, a law of alchemy. So, kind of interesting. It's the Kraken from the what if uh, Captain Rogers got shot and Peggy took over thing. So this might be explained why this thing. It, 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 because it wasn't a Hydra and I was kind of upset about that and I know it's some kind of squid or, or Kraken. So we'll find out what the heck this thing is. The library isn't enough. Those beings have what I need. There is a fine line between devotion and delusion. Love can break more than your heart. It can shatter your mind. Ouch. There's a backstory to that that I don't think we're ever going to find out. But maybe we will. We still have quite a few minutes left in this uh, series here. So. Hmm. Maybe Obeng's right. If they won't surrender their power, I'll take it. He's taking and becoming something really bad. Another, another thing that you have to look out for in that universe is, well, in all universes, is not just the law of, of equivalent exchanges, but what you let into your, into your soul, uh, you know, equivalently. So, he's absorbing a lot of evil right now. He's on the wrong path. I could warn him, intervene. But the fate of his universe is not worth risking the safety of all others. Besides, I doubt he'd listen. Hello? Who's that? So wait, he just heard the Watcher. <laughs> That's kind of scary because he's absorbing so much power, but it's so much evil power. It's not good power. Um... And that's uh, kind of scary because now he hears the Watcher. So I'm hoping he doesn't get to see the Watcher because if he can see the Watcher, he might kill the Watcher. And then that's the end of the series. I kind of wonder why the other like sorcerer didn't stop him, um, you know, from doing this. But you know, like the Watcher said. Um, would he listen even if I try to tell him? Well, he's evil now. Death is part of the plan. The other strange will. Other? <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> you are only half a man. Don't tell me he's gonna start killing off all the other doctors to absorbing their power uh, now we're getting into that uh, uh, the one movie this this one this episode is taking uh, uh, little freedoms from you know other movies and it's it's not bad it's just you know uh, I've seen it a lot before um, it's just, uh, now we're going into, I believe it's, uh, Jet Li's The One, or One, where he goes off and starts killing off all of his other, uh, multiversal selves and absorbing their power and gaining strength over, 
uh, each time that he kills one of his old selves. Um, yeah, kind of a fun, it's a fun movie, but um, I'll have to find it and review it again, but yeah, this is not going to end well for for this version of Doctor Strange, because at this point, if he goes back to our universe, he will be dealing with our Doctor Strange, and he's a fully realized Sorcerer Supreme, where I'm not sure where this guy's at yet, so we'll see. Well, I'm going to start the kettle. I suggest you join me before you do something reckless. Reckless. Um, you're right. Enough living in the past for one evening. I drew upon the power of the Dark Dimension to split the timeline. To split you. I'm looking for the lost library. Enough living in the past for one evening. Allowing for two. Okay, so she made a variant, um, a branch, if you will, of the timeline. So if you go back and watch Loki, or the original uh, Avengers movie with her in it, the, um, the last Avengers movie that we've had in-game, she explains that, you know, one little stone going away creates an alternate branch. Well, she actually created a alternate parallel branch with a different Doctor Strange, and that's having some effect here. So, okay, now we have multiple problems. And now I have an evil twin? More like misguided. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not misguided. He's been absorbing evil. He is an evil twin now. So, <laughs> you're wrong. Sorceress Supreme, I'm sorry. You're just wrong. Send a strange to kill a strange? It, it's very, it is very the one, um, I believe it's called the one. If not, I'll correct myself, uh, with a little thing up here somewhere. Um... Yeah, it's like Jet Li. It's a very, it's a really good movie. Um, it, th this is taking big liberties with that movie. <sighs> Let's be honest, we've been through weirder. That was a totally missed opportunity. You could have said, we've been through Stranger. Would have been, you know, a little more appropriate, but, you know. I'm lost! <laughs> If you go back and watch my um, Spider-Man review, that looks a lot like the spell that, let's just say this Doctor, I don't think it's actually Doctor Strange, I think it's some other character playing Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange should know not to mess around with the multiverse or time. Um, which changing things in the past is basically doing both um that looks a lot like the spell that he created um while doing that so uh yeah go back and watch that video after you get done watching this one and now can you save her no steven nope all that power absorbed all that evil obtained and you still can't save her. Steven, you promised me creme brulee. I know. This is... We can be together. This is just the manipulation, but, you know, I don't know what's going on here. He is a fully realized avatar. Evil, but still powerful. The timeline is collapsing in on itself. The multiverse is destroying itself. You're a god. You can undo this. I'm not a god. So he's not a god. Good to know. He's a watcher, but he's not calling himself a god. Maybe he'll spark a new timeline.
Oh, bubble. One life, one choice, one moment can destroy the entire universe. Wow. Okay. Alright, well, while that's going through that, let's talk about it. Ooh, man. Let me... Go ahead and get that off of there. Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, it's definitely... Um, kind of tragic, and I understand where the Watcher is coming from. You can't mess with time, because if he saved that one, then another one would probably have to get destroyed. And it's just a sad situation all around. Um, I like this episode. I kind of like all of the episodes so far. Are there flaws to them? Yes, but um, a lot of them are very good. Um, this episode particularly hit a lot of um, timey-wimey stuff that I know about um, by watching like Doctor Who and things like that. Um, it definitely had the one vibe to it where um, one of your alternates goes around into the multiverse and kills all of the other alternates absorbing their talents and powers until there is only one and then um you know i forget how the movie ends but um it basically there's a fight between the one that absorbed all the powers or it gets split between the other ones in the universe or something and it ends up just being two people fighting each other for the power for the ultimate power of of being the only one in the universe or in the m multiverse if you will but yeah this episode's really good um really sad um it had groundhog day vibes to it um, it had the one vibes to it, and it just kind of mixes a bunch of, uh, movie themes, and I, I respect that, and I like that. You have to take your ideas from somewhere, and that's what this did. So, with that being said, guys, yes, I, I like this episode. Very good episode. Um, very interesting. Um, yeah, so if you guys like this, uh, review... Uh, and watch through, give it a like. If you want to hit the little subscribe button, it should be popping up over here somewhere. Um, there should be another video up here. I'll probably put the reaction video to Spider-Man, which also has a little bit to do with uh, this episode. Um, yeah, and thank you guys for coming in. We will see you next time. Peace.